Oh, and the walls are bleeding. Isn't that lovely? Whoa. Anti man, you're looking a bit yellow, green under the skin there. And a bit, whoa, unhealthy, some might say. But again, we keep the torch out on these guys. Boink! Boink! And we're gonna swap to something less crap now, uh, which is the two edged sword. Even though we can't see it, just saying. It's slow, but it packs a mighty wallop. Now don't put yourself out, you rude swine. There we go. We've gathered Ulioth. So we now know what Ulioth is. We've also gathered a red urn. It's filled to try and, I guess, give you a bit of a clue what you have to do here. So what we're going to be doing, of course, is piercing into the fountain. Ah, oh, much better. There we go, we've got some nasty old water and it's filled. And we do the same with the three now. Ta -da! The game nicely hints out the fact that one of them is filled. Ooh, gee, I wonder what we have to do here. It's a tapestry. Where's my torch? My invisible torch. Yes. Whoa. Anthony, standing that close to the fire was probably unwise. Ugh. Burn, heretic, burn! Ugh. I'm gonna set this fire to your balls and watch a shrivelly old nan set fire to death. Death. Man, if I had shrivelly old balls like that, I'd be really upset if someone set fire to them. So, uh... Latest dude, I guess. Wait, could that be Charlemagne? Or the bishop, perhaps. What's this? We have to put something somewhere on the floor with the indentations. What the what that could be? But more importantly... Mm, a scroll ball. What do we get in our scroll? Enchant item. Now it tells us what we could have done. There you go. Spell number one is enchant item. There you go. And we can assign so we can quickly do that. Which is on this C stick? Maybe? Oh, I can't remember. I have to work it out. And check. Tells you what it does. To examine the scroll, press A. A torn scroll, illustrated with a geo geometric symbol, is accompanied by a small note. The note reads, That which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull will be sharp. This is the nature of the enchant item magic. Oh, isn't that nice? So now we can assign it. Ah, it's to... Okay, that makes sense. So we're going to stick it to... Up. Because that's how I roll. There we go. Oh wait, unless I didn't actually do it. No, it did. Let's go. Cool. So now we push up, it tells us what we want to enchant. And so we want to enchant our sword. Oh, I love Ulios' voice. He's such a friendly sounding chappy. You don't. wouldn't imagine this is not the kind of voice who would want to take over the world, you know? It's like. Ooh! There we go, and another one. So now we can see what the spell does. Project. And again, that'll be nice and useful later. Now, any clues what we got to do here, people? We have. This is a very difficult puzzle. Yep. It has three curious circles. Hint, hint. Wonder what we might have to do with this. Could be something to do with the urns. Although the urn appears to sit correctly on the pressure plate, it does not appear to be heavy enough. Although we could have put a damn book on it. But I guess this is kind of magical Lovecraftian urn, so, you know. Yay! Even though it wasn't indented before and it was open, it's now open again. Hooray! I'm not going to question this shit. Magic. Ah. Hello, Bishop. How are you doing? So, you have come to return my book. Um. Very well then. For your efforts. You're a little bit. I of... promise a quick and merciful death. Your eyes are leaking. There, sir. That's not normal. It's outrageous. He's a zombie. Do him in. I'm even enchanted ass our uh, blade, so it does magical damage. I believe. Oh, we're losing sanity. He's very scary. This monk. Very scary indeed. Hey, he's dead! Hooray! Oh, shit. Ah, uh, don't- no E.T. No touchy. Yeah. It's kind of disconcerting that a headless body is squirming down there. Drop. There we go. Whoa, and then he disappears. Now, interestingly, yellow it seems to pay a lot of importance into this game. There's a lot of importance on yellow, but no god ever ends up to yellow. 
I wonder if this is just a thing, or if this is an actual thing behind it. A fourth god. A fifth god! Behind the scenes, perhaps. Who knows? Because we're- poor Anthony here is getting zapped by yellow magic, funnily enough. But no one ever claims it. No, I should really finish these guys off since they're just getting back up. Sorry! Sorry, I'm recovering sanity. Do apologise. I got the bishop's key. That's right, we can leave anyway. A shrine to god. Woohoo! And since there's nothing left for us in here, we're leaving. Oh, Anthony, my man! That looks unhealthy. You should see someone like a doctor about that whole dead thing. Ugh. Bad zombie. Bad. We're talking about personal space here, zombies. Personal space is important. Look at Anthony walks though. Look, he pimps it. Dun, 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 dun. Uh. I don't think we're going to be very sane by the end of this. But it's okay. Who needs sanity anyway? Well, us probably. Ah, oh, hello. What can I do for you, sir? That's a trapper. They do stuff like this. And this can be beneficial to the player, or not, it, it really does depend. Essentially, we just want to get out of here, so we want to use purple. The trapper dimension sprawls in every direction. While in this place of magic cannot, while in this place, magic cannot be cast, and humans are subjected to odd phenomena. The portal cycle from colour uh, to colour as time progresses, and only the quick will escape. Basically, we want to leave, so we want purple. But you can use this to um, replenish your magic, health, or whatever it is you need at the time, to be honest. So, but we're leaving. That's not the right purple I want. That's not the right purple at all. This is going to get us nowhere. Well, it does. Okay. This was where I was aiming for. Never mind, I was just telling you complete lies. Delicious lies. Woo! Goodness me! There we go. The sanity effects. It's, uh. Trappers have no eyes, but they but the consent sound very well. I can't read this evening, what's going on? If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be trouble. Now we sneak by it. Nasty old bog monster. Yes, yes, they get very upset if you make some noise, so we're just gonna leg it. Ah, I appear to be upside down. It's a, it's a bit of a hazard for progressing, some might say. Being stuck on the ceiling. It's okay, Anthony. No one judges you. Oh, I'm starting to lose health. I need to get into some sanity sharpish, otherwise I'm going to end up dying. We have no way of healing in this chapter, so I need to be careful. I mean, no one wants to see me die, right? But you probably do, you heartless swines! Never think of my feelings! Besides, we're still pretty much at rock bottom sanity. Like, we're still going to see weird stuff like this, but I'm not going to die for it. Here's the main thing. Besides, getting your sanity back all the time is boring. Half the game's fun is insanity effects. Or insanity effects, perhaps. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. That's promising. He could, of course, just take his head off, but that would be rude. We're a good person. Although I like he doesn't mind that Anti looks like some sort of, sort of walking zombie fetish. Oh, Anthony. You really shouldn't have looked at that scroll. But it's, uh, I suppose his courage is quite, you know, it's quite impressive when you think about it. I mean, this man is trying desperately, no matter what it takes to get to Charlemagne. That's a really admirable quality. Though, you will see me doing this now in the corner of the screen. I will not apologise for this, because if I remember right, I might be remembering... <laughs> it's 
My camera's not scrolling. Not sure if sanity effect or if game broken. Let's try again. Hello, old chap. That's a horror. He's also been a dick. Now, because that's a horror, the first thing I'm going to do is go down here. Now, the reason I'm doing that is so I can re-enchant my weapon, which is going to be very important. This makes it do more damage. Remember, blue bleeds green. Eh? I think. Could be doing this completely wrong way. There we go. We want to take each of his heads off. It's very sour. There we go. Down it goes. Horrors are very unpleasant. There's different horrors of different colours. This one is all like green and shit. Now we can get a lot of sanity back by killing it. Which we're doing because we're going to lose it along the way anyway. Haha! <laughs> take that, you swine. Let's go, Anthony. We're almost there. Oh! Back, vile fiends! I'm here to save Charlemagne! Urgh. 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 Now this is one of the first chapters again where you do a lot of sort of, well initially where you do a lot of talking and investigating to, to people, that kind of thing. Ah, I need to use the bishop's key. Now, in further chapters along the game we're going to do a lot more like investigating and there's going to be a lot more like sort of horror based stuff rather than fighting as well. Which makes it, I think, fun. Yay! Oh, bullets. trying to save him, Anthony. Wait, I know that voice. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Zealot. Whoa! That's a bone thief. They're not very nice at all. I find them quite creepy, in fact. Not something that lives inside somebody then explodes at the moment notice, yet takes control of their brains. Conspiracies. Alex is taking all this surprisingly well. But now, what have we learnt? Oh yes. Oops. We have now repaired the key. Good stuff. Who doesn't like keys being repaired? I love keys repaired. We don't get any stuck, jammed, broke, lot. Rude. Just as well I have this big fat gladius then, isn't it? Oh, wouldn't be a bad idea to save it right now actually. And with that saved, we can go check out. Upstairs. Lots of weird knocking. I always find it disconcerting. Second floor key. This time, not broken. Hello, statue. How much sanity do we have? Ah, we don't have a huge amount of sanity. That's lovely. That's lovely. It's good. Someone's knocking on our door. We can ignore it for now. By the way, things change in the game when you've got lower sanity, so keep an eye out for that. I'll try and point things out because it's cool. Mmm, stuff. Hello, look at this. One of the drawers in the dresser has a no keyhole. Also, it's talking at us. What could be in here? Ooh, there's a letter on the toilet. Maximilian Roivus. And there we go. We know what we need to do now. And there's some weird growling. Ooh, something in the bathtub. Rude. 
How rude. One minute you're checking out your dirty rubbish toilet, the next, someone is showing you a visage of yourself dead in the bathroom. Did you hear that, Zach? Dead in the bathroom. Outrageous. Outrageous indeed. Maybe someone is knocking on our front door. Perhaps we should look. But nobody's there. <laughs> okay, uh, we can basically stop mucking around. We'll have a quick look around what we can explore now. And then next time, we're going to the Journal of Maximilian. Uh, Maximilian's one of my favourite chapters, actually. Uh, there's lots of cool stuff going on. Maximilian's a doctor. Doctors do cool things. And there's a study. Another chapter page. The gift of forever. Woohoo! Oh, sorry, it's not... I'm getting ahead of myself. This is the journal. I'm sorry. I thought I'd found... I thought it was a bit early for that, to be honest. Anyway. Maximilian's journal. Everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved on the shadow of lies. I have learned through my lifetime, but no less than a newborn baby. Thank you, Maximilian. It's very helpful indeed. It's also nice of Alex's granddad to leave, like, bullets and shit lying around. And ancient guns we can't get hold to. That's so cruel. Here, yeah, look at all these cool guns. Neat. Look at the stuff you can't use yet. Boo! So we do actually have our next chapter page. It appears I can use this. Should I read it now? No. Because we're going to explore slightly. Hey, Max. That's Max, by the way. Hey, Max. How's it going? Max, you can't walk through walls. What a jerk. It's too dark. Of course, we couldn't just explore. No. The wallpaper in the section of the hallway is oddly marred, as though the wall it sits on is not even with the rest of the room. Madness. <laughs> Bless you, my child. Yeah, so the growling window pane means we can't get near that either. If we do, we get zapped. We don't want to get zapped. Zapped is overrated. So then, perhaps we should read the Tome of Eternal Darkness. But we'll see that for next time. So I hope you enjoyed the set. It's been fun. I love this game. It's really, it's a, it's a goodie. It's a goodie. So thanks very much for watching. Until then.